Hey guys, how you doing? It's me again, Zion of Bay. Welcome to my channel where I'm excited to shed light on a topic that hits home for many of us. Why I'm always shy to sing. Yeah, like I really get nervous sometimes. And it happens to everyone. In this candid, heartfelt video, you know, I delve deep into my own personal musical insecurities and the reason behind why I feel apprehensive about sharing my singing talent with others. I've got videos coming every week once a week every monday we've got a new video coming out monday's always a boring day but you've got something interesting to watch because you're gonna watch my video obviously and uh not all the time but before like this is really how i used to feel i'm a lot more confident now i would say however um obviously like i'm talking like about my experiences and my insecurities around singing and you know kind of where it stemmed from um from childhood like it would just i used to get compared a lot and from school like i would just get bullied even though i was in a lot of talent shows in school and like throughout my teenagehood like but people would just always put me down about my singing i guess because it just wasn't what they were used to or it was just unusual for them i don't know like but it kind of got to me and it did affect my self-esteem for quite a while whereas now like i'm in a completely different space now however like there's still like a tiny little bit of insecurity still there at times but i know that obviously with improvement maybe if i can invest in myself and get some singing lessons that will definitely expand my voice my vocal ability a lot and it would be even better than what it is now absolutely but this is why i'm here today because i'm trying to grow my youtube channel not even trying we are growing the channel i need to woo before i start because i don't want to get emotional because i feel like this has always been like a stumbling block for me especially when it comes to like insecurities insecurities like are just everyone has insecurities do you know what i mean and even i think just being consistent as well i feel like i can kind of be like insecure about that sometimes to be honest because it's like again i'm just like oh you know my content's not doing well or it's just like you know is it good enough or is it is it relatable will people watch me and you know like and then i'll watch myself back and i'll think actually like you you look kind of cool like what you're saying seems kind of interesting of course like and I get bare love online, don't get me wrong, but I guess in my mind, like, I'm just thinking about, like, the multitude instead of just, like, just appreciating the small. But because the small isn't, like, a massive amount, I'm just, like, when am I just gonna just, like, get to the multitude? But then, obviously, it's, like, everything is in stages and phases at the same time because it's, obviously, you've got to be prepared for the multitude because if you prepare for the multitude, if you're not prepared for the multitude, sorry... And I'm doing what I'm doing now, which is being quite inconsistent. When the multitude comes, I won't even be able to manage it, to be honest with you, because it's like my my, my viewers will get bored of me. Like, I'm sure some of you are probably already bored of me, but you can never be bored of me, okay? Because I'm just so mysterious and like I'm just so interesting to watch, and I just keep coming back every time. But you know, back to the topic, which was about why I used to feel so shy and a little bit now i wouldn't say why i feel shy about singing sometimes because sometimes people ask me to freestyle and and yeah ugh. anyway throughout the years i literally i've grippled in self-doubt fear of judgment and you know constant nagging voices in my head making making me feel diff making it feel difficult to kind of like fully express myself through singing um just like self-sabotaging in a way or not even self-sabotaging there's a thing that people that this i was watching this clip um and a psychologist was saying it's like you abandon yourself something like people that have gone through trauma um you know they do this thing like when they get triggered where they just kind of like abandon them their, their, their identity and then have a new one so it's like or they kind of like 
self project no self reject that's it they self reject so it's like you know when i feel like I'm just not enough or I start doubting myself, I start having these thoughts, like I start rejecting myself and then I start feeling bad about myself and that's where all these negative thoughts start coming from. Um, and it's almost like, you know, when you think about it theoretically, it's like, oh, you know, what, what, why, why do you feel that way? Why are you self-rejecting? It's like, oh, you know, are you looking for validation from other people? The thing is, it's like, it's not even necessarily about the validation. I feel it's just like, just thinking, just feeling like I'm just, I'm, I'm enough. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, I have to obviously believe that I am enough because I am enough. I believe that. But sometimes I don't always believe that, which is the actual truth. I don't always believe that I'm enough. I don't always feel like I've got enough or, you know, I have what it takes. I, I don't. And I want to get to a point where I feel like I have what it takes. And I think that's where a lot of the self-doubt has come from and where I've kind of made it difficult to it's been difficult for me to kind of fully express myself like through singing as well because it's like i want to say all these things but it's like i've got so many things like i want to say it's like i need to just get it out of me but then how to pull it all together in sentences sometimes i i guess what i'm saying is that i kind of find it difficult to express myself in some ways i think emotionally um you know just yeah my mind is just been through a lot of trauma I guess in a way I'm kind of like psycho and then analyzing myself for a moment but anyway like I believe that every individual like many individuals can obviously relate to what I'm saying because of this sentiment you get what I'm saying to you like we were there you know aspiring musicians or your people that sing in the shower or you know people that are passionate about music like I'm sure that you can actually relate to what i'm actually saying because a lot of singers don't actually like to hear themselves like it's crazy i feel like i have some type of like mental disorder yeah god forbid god forbid <laughs> god forbid <laughs> but like it's like if i record something of myself i can't like if i watch it right there and then like i will literally shut myself down but then like if i watch it again the next day I would look at it and be like, oh, that's actually really good. You actually look really cute. Like, it's weird. Like, before, like, when I lost loads of weight, I lost so much weight so quickly that I actually didn't recognise myself. Like, I, lost, I was, like, a size 12, but I was so skinny. Like, I was nearly 10. It was mad. And when I would look at myself, like, I, in my in my eyes, I look fat. These times, I'm, like, a size 12. Then when I look at the picture the next day, I will see a, a slim person in the picture. So weird. There's a name for it. There's actually a name for that. But that's basically my enemy's mental disorder. Through this emotional journey, I hope that, you know, I hope, like, I hope to dismantle the notion that being shy to sing doesn't always mean you're lacking in talent or passion, okay? It's essential to understand that every individual's music journey is unique and sometimes our insecurities can hold us back from embracing our true potential. And honestly guys, like, I know there's a lot of singers out there that want to be musicians, artists and want to pursue it either as a hobby or a career. And if you're somebody that's like, you know, in their early 20s, below 20s you know because i've got a lot of young people that watch me on social media as well um you know in this 15 16 17 18 19 you know and i'm sure that they watch me because they're quite inspired and motivated by you know me as an individual my content as well um so you know what i want to say to you if you are watching this video is that you know don't feel bad or don't be hard on yourself you know about your vocal ability just make the investment in yourself make the time and persevere and keep on going because i feel like you just can't give up on yourself at the end of the day and if it's something that you really feel and you've got a burning desire inside then that maybe that's just what's meant for you and it's okay to want that you need to understand that it's okay to want that. I always used to feel bad about wanting to go after my music career. I used to feel bad about wanting big and great things. And it's like, I, why, why do I feel bad? Because there's nothing wrong in wanting to go for those things. There's absolutely nothing wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
you don't have to wait for somebody to then start going for the things that you want you have to go get it yourself and that's one thing my mum's always taught me to be is to be a go-getter be a go-getter I'm going to get the bag <laughs> I'm going to get mummy to come going to get it like I walk in the room I own it you gotta own it do you understand and it's taken me it's taken me a process you know I've always had this self-resilience I've always had this confident confidence but I feel like the older I get the more I feel like I just feel some type of way like I just but I really shouldn't because it's like I'm I'm maturing like fine wine it's like the older I get the more comfortable and seated in it I should be which I do feel but it's like I'm still battling with my demons like these demons like y'all need to just leave me alone like on a serious level and we all have demons like each and every one of us god forbid we reject them in the name of Jesus but yeah they're like our insecurities you know it's like our mindset as well self-sabotaging things like that I would call are like your demons do you get what I'm saying to you not like actual physical demons but you know these are you know self-esteem issues flaws about yourself that you're trying to overcome because those flaws are definitely holding you back again your ego as well can hold you back because it's like you can feel like yeah you've got it all together or you're you're right yeah you've got this you're you're a bad girl you're a bad man you're fine this that whatever whatever and then it's like you know to the to the wrong person they'll be like no you need to be humble or you need to this or you need to that like no your ego is just too much you need to get out of your ego so yeah i'm gonna peel back the layers guys in this video i'm gonna peel back the layers of my personal experiences and share with you the stories that have shaped my perspective on singing like i've already shared already i dive into the moments of rejection comparison to others and obviously the high expectations i hold for myself and that's also why as well i think i probably do beat myself up sometimes if i don't succeed if i, if I feel like i'm not succeeding very well in something that i'm trying to achieve like i will literally beat myself up and that's something that we do again there's that word self-rejection rejection you know comparing yourself to others is not a very good thing to do it's something that i used to do then i had to learn how to embrace my 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 sound my tone i had to embrace myself and you know a lot of people that have listened to my music from when i started up until now will say that my music has definitely improved they can definitely see the growth do you understand but i feel like i'm still on this journey as well to actually feeling so comfortable in the genre that i'm trying to kind of break into which is afro r&b i i'm an afro i'm an r&b singer because i feel that you know my melodies and how i sing sounds very r&b but then at the same time, I very much love Afro beats. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? But I don't speak the dialect of my country, which is Yoruba. And it's also very good. Like, I can I can throw in words here and there, but I feel like there's a swag. Like, there's just a vibe that you just got to carry with it. Do you understand? And I'm so much a British-born that I feel like I just want to live in Nigeria for, like, a year so that I can just experience it and just pick up that that zeal that the country provides do you get what i'm saying to you you know music obviously like when you're singing as well like you also have to obviously understand that you know you're exposing your vulnerabilities and my aim is to just create a safe space where we can actually openly discuss our own music in habitation and discover ways to overcome them because we're all stars at the end of the day <laughs> yes we are there's room for everybody do you know what i'm saying to you but yeah, so hopefully through watching my content, it can help you, you know, to overcome your own insecurities and it can help you to reflect and kind of see me as a mirror. You know, if you resonate with me, then obviously I may be speaking about things that you have also experienced or how you also feel about yourself as well. So that's kind of like a mirror and just see me as yourself and then learn from it, you know. Join me on this introspective exploration as i unravel the complexities surrounding my shyness towards singing and strive towards self-acceptance and growth that is something that i'm big on just grow just to evolve and grow is definitely something that i'm big on together let's break the chains of fear 100 percent. like honestly guys you need to learn how to break that fear because the fear is what is going to hold you back 
just fear of not getting it right fear of you know not fitting in fear of people not liking you fear of people not watching your content just fear of everything fear of not being accepted fear of not doing well fear of not like reaching your goals or fear of just not being enough like there's just so much and like obviously like you know we want to cult i want to cultivate an environment where you know music is celebrated regardless of skill of the, the skill level to be honest and it should be but i feel like society can be so mean social media can be so mean like when i first started on like socials in terms of like tiktok like i never really used to get any trolls or anything like that but like lately like you i've just been seeing like the odd person like just want to be like ain't nobody got time for them i don't even see y'all i don't see y'all asses honestly what i did to help me overcome my shyness and my stage fright was there was a night where i had made my first single okay guys and um it was younger self and then that night i went to bed and i was like thank you god oh my gosh like honestly because you know when like I, I actually pray about music i pray for like inspiration i ask god to kind of give me inspiration like give me the words and stuff like that so obviously I had written that song so I was just like oh my gosh I was so grateful because I just got this like inspiration had this beat and I loved it and with me like when I hear beats like if the beat gets me excited I'll just literally just start freestyling on it easy but if it doesn't really get me excited and I just sometimes I feel like I can't freestyle I can't sing on every single beat maybe because I haven't been able to kind of like hone in on the melody so as as such Whereas if I was working with like a songwriter or someone and they picked up a melody, then I could definitely flow from that as well. If I'm not able to pick it up on a beat that doesn't get me excited, do you get what I mean? So obviously, yeah, so that night I prayed, was like, yeah, thank you God, all that stuff, like God, oh my gosh, like you're just amazing, like seriously. But then he was now spoke to me, he was like, go and perform your song in Leicester Square. I was like, sorry, what? <laughs> sorry, what did you say to me? <laughs> go do what? He was like, he was like, go to Leicester Square and perform your song. Buy a speaker and a mic and go and perform the song. And oh my gosh, I was like, wow. Do you know what? That's actually a shout. And that was when busking now just kind of just popped up in my head. And I was like, okay. He's being so real. Like, and actually, if I actually did it, it would actually help me, to be honest. Like, just be comfortable with singing out in the open because like, you know as i said in the beginning of the video growing up like i always just get teased and stuff so it kind of really just kind of put me in my shell i feel like i've been in my shell for quite a long time to like throughout my life to be honest with you and sometimes like i'll come out but then like i'll retreat and then i'll come out and i'll retreat i do that quite a lot whereas i'm trying to come out of that phase i'm trying to it's not even i wouldn't say it's a phase it's just become a lifestyle and i'm really trying to come out of it but it's difficult because i'm a mom at the same time so it's not like i can be out on road like somebody doesn't have any responsibilities do you get what i'm saying um so anyway so he was like yeah go do that so anyway i bought the speaker bought the microphone and then i didn't actually go to the square i actually went to my town center and i performed in my town center and that it was amazing i had the most amazing time and that was how i started um literally doing that consistently to help me overcome my fear of singing in front of people overcome my shyness of singing um and then obviously since then like i just started doing karaoke nights i started doing open mic nights a lot more you know finding different platforms and music platforms online as well events music events where you can come and just jump on a mic and sing and stuff i get invited to places as well and that's how i really just started singing in front of people and i kind of just grew in myself in my stage presence um you know grew my confidence and it just kind of helped me to just kind of like envision and vision like how i want to portray myself to my audience to my fans you know as an artist in 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 all of that to be honest with you um and then it's just a self-talk situation as well like and just constantly like you know vocal training like i am a recovering smoker <laughs> i 
I'm too funny. <laughs> I laughed. The reason why I laughed is because of the way I said it. Because I'm like, I'm a recovering smoker because it's like I'm I'm always on and off in terms of like vape. So like I vape and as I think maybe because I'm stressed, I also have anxiety as well. So my anxiety just yeah, just kind of just my enemy has anxiety, not even me. My enemy has anxiety. So anyway, like obviously I vape and you know I used to smoke marijuana yeah and yeah I stopped sometimes it creeps back but yeah we've overcome all of that in the name of God 100% but the vaping on the other hand obviously it kind of like just the fact that I've smoked in general hinders my vocal ability in itself but on top of that what i'm really trying to do is to really be on top of my vocal training because that also helps me to improve my breathing improve my tone improve my pitch as well and my voice has improved a lot however there are some songs that i'm not able to sing because of the high notes and the high pitch but if you change the key and stuff like that obviously like i sing it very beautifully well um i recorded a lot of videos um and just listen to myself singing back as well um and then obviously that helps me to improve you know i'll do it over and over again until i'm absolutely happy with it sometimes it can just be a bit too much i'm, I'm a bit of a pessimist towards myself when it comes to my singing i'm very hard on myself do you know what i mean because i just want to be and sound good at like what i do hold on a minute is everything okay no it's just okay well I'm, I'm not done yet um so yeah so that's part of what i did um like don't get me wrong like i've had vocal lessons like throughout my whole singing journey um it's always been on and off to be honest with you but then obviously i do a lot at home using youtube as well to help me can you not do that please come out the room while i'm recording um yeah and what else did i do um I drink a lot of teas so i drink a lot of herbal teas i drink teas for my throat especially i drink um licorice tea is really good for singers um herbal teas with lavender inside of it is really good it really helps to kind of like smoothen your tone as well um and oh, what else do i um yeah i think that's the two teas that i that i do drink yeah all i know is that lavender is very good steaming your your voice is also very good as well um and i sometimes i rub anointing oil on my throat as well and i'll massage my neck like relax my shoulders i did the 30 day singing challenge i registered to that platform which is really really good i would actually recommend them because they're actually awesome so like i do some vocal lessons with them like the free ones that they provide because they're always sending me stuff in my email so i do that as well um but anyway i feel like i've longed out this whole video like i've actually but i hope that it's helped you i hope that you know you've been able to take a few pointers um on how you can overcome your shyness um and your stage fright as well but girl guys just keep believing in yourself keep practicing that is the most important thing like just keep keep practicing because practicing is definitely going to help you improve and if you have the time then keep on going don't give up one thing i do love is that when people kind of like you know people that like follow me on my socials and they see me you know they'll message me and stuff like that and we'll talk about my music and we'll talk about like what i've been getting up to and then they always say like keep going keep going keep going keep going so obviously like i must be doing something right like do you know what i mean and i just i'm i'm just waiting for the times when i will actually be united with my tribe of fans and like viewers and you know subscribers and all of that like i'm just waiting for that time and i know that they're gonna come 100 percent. but i feel like i my music me as an artist me as a personality as an entertainer would get appreciated more when i'm just connected with the right people and that's really what it's about it's about connecting with the right people because the right people will also motivate you too and the right people won't let you give up on yourself as well so that's another free golden nugget for you anyway thank you so much for joining me on this raw and personal journey whether you relate to my experiences or simply find comfort in knowing that you are not alone i hope this video sparks a sense of courage within you to embrace your musical talents share them with the world and do not let fear 
and I mean it, even for myself, do let fear dim your light and let your voice soar. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.